Cold open, folks. In the realm of quantum mechanics, there are two major formulations. First up, we have matrix mechanics, conjured up by the brilliant minds of Heisenberg and Born. They introduced a new way of looking at quantum systems, using arrays of numbers called matrices. The advantage of matrix mechanics is that it doesn't require any knowledge of classical physics. The matrices involved are also self-adjoint, meaning they are equal to their own complex conjugate transpose. However, matrix mechanics can be quite abstract, making it a little more difficult for some to understand. This was revolutionary, folks, and it shook the very foundations of physics. But hold your horses, there's more. Enter stage right, Erwin Schrodinger. This fella didn't much care for matrices. Instead, he devised wave mechanics, using wave functions to describe quantum systems. The beauty of wave mechanics is that it is visually intuitive and easier to comprehend. The downside, however, is it can be difficult to apply to multiparticle systems, and it's less powerful when it comes to calculating observable properties. Now, these two formulations might seem different, but they're actually equivalent. Yes, you heard it right. Two sides of the same quantum coin. So, there you have it. Heisenberg and Born's matrix mechanics, Schrodinger's wave mechanics, two different paths, leading to the same quantum destination and each with their own strengths and weaknesses. Ain't science grand, folks? Now that's a wrap. Keep pondering and we'll catch you on the flip side. Loop.